Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Anna Morfides with Many Hearts Counseling. And today's video is going to be on disappointment. What to do when we are disappointed with the way things are unfolding and how to change our mindset. So this was actually a viewer recommended, or I should say Facebook friend recommended, as I felt a little bit stagnant in the topics that naturally come to me to speak about on my channel. So I put out a request to see if there was something that was alive within one of my friends or family members that they would want to potentially see a video on. And this beautiful topic came about disappointment. And it took me a few days to actually do it because I didn't, sometimes when I don't have that feeling, like the feeling of disappoint of being disappointed, it doesn't naturally come to me why it's present, how can I transmute it, how can I change my mindset so I can raise my vibration and feel differently about myself and or that situation. So within this last little bit, I've actually had a few things that have felt quite disappointing. So no better time than the present to make this video because this is actually quite alive within me, the feeling of disappointment. And this is what I do to transmute it and keep my vibration high in order to create more high vibrational situation circumstances in my life because yes disappointment is part of life so if we look at the feelings wheel disappointment is part of our emotional makeup and it actually is it's somewhere right over here yes disappointed and it actually sits behind the emotion of disgust which surprised me a little bit for sure I thought that disappointment would sit behind the predominant emotion of sadness because when I am disappointed I feel like a wave of sadness I would never guess that it's disgust but disgust makes sense so in my particular case I feel disappointed within myself I feel disappointed uh, within the masculine energy and these are the two predominant ways that I have been feeling disappointed lately. But other things can feel disappointing as well. Sometimes we may be disappointed with the results of a, an exam that we took, or we might be disappointed about the teacher that our child was assigned to in school, or disappointed by the way things at work are going, disappointed by a relationship, Disappointment can show up in so many shapes and form and areas in our life. But the one thing that is always constant about disappointment is it is always there for a reason. Whether it's that relationship or that work project or a masculine energy or something that you're doing within yourself. It is always there for a reason. It is a compass to show you something different. So say for example, for me, I am disappointed within myself some, a lot of the times for the ways that I choose to numb certain unmet needs that I have and I'm not proud of the ways that I choose to do so but I'm also not going to guilt myself or shame myself about the things that I do because these are the two things that we easily would wanna go to if we are disappointing our own selves. And let me tell you, I feel like disappointing myself versus disappointing others is one of the hardest things for me to overcome because I, I tend to hold myself in this I'm not even sure how to how, how to how to put it. If I'm disappointing myself, I'm really hard on myself. I hold myself super accountable for things, and especially if I'm disappointing other people, oh boy, then it takes me a long time to forgive myself and my actions. And I have this one mantra 
that I always say, and it goes back to tying hands with that one constant, which is thank you to Louise Hay first and foremost for bringing this mantra to us. And it's, and it's goes something like, not something like this. It goes exactly like this. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of the situation, only good will come. I am safe. So this is a constant that I apply to every situation that I feel disappointed in. So if I'm disappointed within myself about the ways that I'm acting, this mantra is perfect. All is well. Only good will come out of the situation. Everything is always working out for my highest good. I am safe. So I'm not going to hold myself in guilt and shame. And I am going to see what is the good that will come out of the situation. So if I'm feeling disappointed in myself by the ways I am choosing to meet my unmet needs or numb my pain, then the only good that will come out of the situation of being disappointed is this is my catalyst to do something different for myself. So then I don't choose to feel disappointed. So maybe I'm going to choose a different way to express my pain instead of numbing it. Why not journal about it or go see a counselor and talk about it or just choose something different. So only good will come out of the situation because I am recognizing that I am disappointing myself. Therefore, what else can I do in this situation? Now, if you're feeling disappointed about things not working out a certain way, say that you wanted to go on a vacation or you applied for this job or you're disappointed about anything or anyone the way that it is unfolding because you had a different perhaps scenario that you wanted to experience in your mind and it's not happening that way, have trust and faith that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Sometimes when things feel disappointing, yes, they may feel disappointing to us in that moment, but what is actually happening is something greater for you. So if you're disappointed because you didn't get that job, guess what? There's another job that's waiting there for you. If you're disappointed about a relationship that did not manifest or it did manifest, but it was not fulfilling or it was not... Um, having you feel safe and secure, of course, it's going to be natural that you feel disappointed, especially if you really wanted to invest time and effort into this person and or this job. Have the knowing that something else is actually meant for you and it's just around the corner. But if we are staying in that vibration of disappointment, we're not going to be able to attract that job or that person or that situation or that friend circle we're not going to be able to attract that to come into our life. So this is why it's important to transmute the energy of disappointment into joy, happiness, understanding, um, what else would feel positive to transmute disappointment into a knowing that something amazing is going to come out of the situation. Remember this and say it over and over and over to yourself. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Only good out of the situation will come. I am safe. So this is what I would do in the cases that I feel disappointed. I would choose to transmute that energy so I can keep my vibration high because I have the knowing that if this job did not work out for me or this person did not work out for me, I know that something else is meant to come for me that is in more alignment of who I am and what I want to experience. So then my job is to understand why perhaps this unfolded this way. What is it that I need to learn what is it that I need to know? What is it that was not actually, what was it about it that wasn't actually meant to be for me? There were, there must be something there that is for your highest good. And if you can find that, and if you can raise your vibration and then make more room to allow the something different, better, more aligned to who you are coming, then 
it all it all is happening for a reason so then we don't need to feel disappointed anymore we can transmute the disappointment into a knowing that something else is meant to take place for us so that takes away that edge of feeling disappointed because we don't need to hold on to it right like you're you're choosing to hold on to a different emotion and a different feeling you're choosing to hold on to a different knowing that everything is always happening for your highest good so yes i'm feeling disappointed in this moment but that's going to be temporary it's going to pass by and i just need to keep doing the things that make me feel good to keep my vibration high to allow for the something better and greater to come in that is actually meant for me and therefore now i don't have to dwell on the disappointment because i can feel hopeful i can transmute that into hopefulness and excitement about the newness that is about to come into my life. And every time you have that thought and you have a feeling of being disappointed, go back into the mantra, go back and doing things that raise your vibration. You have to keep doing it. It's like going to the gym, keep doing it, keep doing it until it becomes second nature to you. Therefore you can feel like this when you're disappointed. Like I'm still disappointed, but I don't have that sadness or anger that's, you know, being carried with me. Like I, I can let it go. I can let it go and I can move on. I can move on. I'm not saying it's easy, but it can be done. And sometimes we can also transmute energy in different ways. Like this morning, I felt so frustrated with my disappointing situations that I encountered in the last little week that all that energy was pent up pent up inside of me. So when I was meditating this morning, I was really thinking, what is it that I can do to release this energy? And I had this vision of me screaming. So literally when I was taking a shower this morning, I screamed it all out and it felt really good. <laughs> it felt really good to scream it all out. So do whatever it is that you need to do to release that energy in a safe way. So you don't have to hold on to it and Go back into the mantra and the knowing that something else that will feel the complete opposite of disappointing is just around the corner. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for believing in me, for all the, the encouragement that you give me through your comments, whether they're public or not public or your messages that I get. I am so, 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 so grateful. I'm wishing you everything in life as always. And remember, everything is always happening for you. You are always safe. And I'm going to say this mantra one more time. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of the situation, only good will come. And I am safe. And I really needed to hear this today too. With all my love always, do not forget to subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. Uh, any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want me to talk about, please do put it out there in the universe and allow it to come to me so I can, yeah, further work with it. I'll see you next time.